Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the tongue. The tongue is a muscular organ located in the floor of the mouth. The tongue performs the functions of taste, mastication, and deglutition. It is also essential for our speech. It has two parts, the oral part. Oral part is the anterior tooth heart. This is the oral part that is in front of the sulcus terminalis here. This is the oral part. The posterior one third is the pharyngeal part. The tongue is related posteriorly to the epiglottis. On the side, it is related to the tonsillar fossa. Here, the upper surface of the tongue has multiple papillae like that of the circumvallate papillae. We have a lot of fungiform papillae. We have numerous filiform papillae. So these are the circumvallate papillae. We have the fungiform papillae and most numerous are the filiform papillae. Tongue is covered by the stratified squamous non keratinous epithelium except at the tip of the filiform papillae which is lined by the keratinized epithelium. The tongue has a lot of test buds that is on the in the furrow around the circumvallate papillae also on the upper part of the of the fungiform papillae. Also we have the foliate papillae here by the side of the tongue which is more developed in children. Muscles of the tongue, we have extensic muscle, intrinsic muscles. Intrinsic muscles are localized inside the tongue. They are not connected to the bone. Extrinsic muscles has attachment to the bone, like that of the genioglossus. We have the styloglossus muscle. We have the hyoglossus muscle. We have palatoglossus muscle. The intrinsic muscle mostly changes the shape of the tongue. Movement of the tongue is carried out by the extensic muscles. The motor innervation, all the intrinsic and extrinsic muscles of the tongue are innervated by the hypoglossal nerve, except the palatoglossus, which is innervated by the vagus nerve, the 10th cranial nerve, via the pharyngeal branches to the pharyngeal plexus. Actions of the tongue, genioglossus, it protrudes the tongue, hyoglossus, depresses the tongue, styloglossus, elevates and retracts the tongue, palatoglossus, depresses the palate and elevates the back of the tongue, and the intrinsic muscles of the tongue changes the shape of the tongue. Okay, we'll go to the innervation of the tongue. We have motor innervation and sensory innervation. The sensory innervation, anterior two-third of the tongue, except the palate papillae, general sensation is carried out by the lingual nerve, that is the pain touch temperature. Special sensation is carried by the chordae tympani branch of the facial nerve. Posterior one-third of the tongue, including the palate papillae, both general sensation, special sensation carried by the glossopharyngeal nerve, the ninth cranial nerve. Extreme posterior part of the tongue, the sensation, both the general sensation, special sensation, carried by the internal laryngeal nerve, a branch of the vagus nerve. As we mentioned, all the muscles of the tongue are innervated by hypoglossal nerve, except palatoglossus, which is innervated by the vagus nerve. We are the pharyngeal plexus. Okay. Blood supply of the tongue, we have the lingual artery, lingual vein. Lingual artery is a branch of the external chaotic artery. Lingual vein is formed by the vena comitentis. Those follow the lingual artery and also some vein that follow other, other branches of the lingual artery and also the hypoglossal nerve area. 
and they all communicate in the posterior part of the tongue to produce the to make the lingual vein and that lingual vein opens into the common facial vein or in most cases it opens into the internal jugular vein artery supply is mostly lingual artery but tongue also get blood supply by the ascending pharyngeal artery branch of the external carotid artery tonsillar artery a branch of the facial artery okay lymphatic drainage of the tongue is very important from the tip of the tongue it goes to the submental lymph node from the side anterior part of the tongue it goes to the submandibular lymph node from the posterior part it goes mostly to the jugular diagnostic jugulomohyoid lymph nodes okay we have some clinical application the under surface of the tongue is a site of absorption of certain medication like nitroglycerin why because there is no papilla there the mucosa is very thin so the medication like nitroglycerin is very easily absorbed from that side protrusion of the tongue deviates towards the paralyzed side in unilateral hypoglossal nerve paralysis we have two genioglossus muscle from two side like other muscles of the tongue we have a septum in the middle of the tongue we have one muscle on each side so when tongue is protruded the paralyzed side is paralyzed side has no resistance so the non paralyzed side has the upper hand so it pushes the tongue towards the paralyzed side tongue is a common site of cancer cancer cells prefer to spread through the lymphatics so in case of cancer submental lymph node submandibular lymph node jugulomohyoid jugulodiagnostic lymph node all may be enlarged okay now we'll go to the highlights gross anatomy of the tongue tongue has a median septum we have extensive muscle intensive muscle all the muscles are skeletal muscle okay we have the skeletal muscle like that of the styloglossus we have the palatoglossus hyoglossus genioglossus these are the extensive muscle chondroglossus is also included as an extensive muscle okay it, it is told that it is a part of the hyoglossus okay and we have the intensive muscle superior longitudinal muscle inferior longitudinal muscle transverse muscle and vertical muscles those muscles are not connected to the bone they are confined to the tongue only they change the shape of the tongue nerve supply of the tongue motor innervation all the muscles of the tongue are innervated by the hypoglossal nerve except the palatoglossus which is innervated by the vagus nerve through the pharyngeal plexus blood supply of the tongue arterial supply mostly from lingual artery the tongue also get blood supply from the ascending pharyngeal artery or the tonsillar artery venous drainage the vein follow the arteries as vena comitantis they unite in the posterior part of the tongue to form the lingual vein and that lingual vein opens into the internal jugular vein or it may open into the common facial vein lymphatic drainage to the submental lymph node submandibular lymph node jugulomohyoid lymph node jugular diagnostic lymph node okay clinical application if you if a person has unilateral hypoglossal nerve paralysis if you protrude the tongue tongue will deviate towards the paralyzed side okay and that's all about the anatomy of the tongue if you have any question please feel free to ask me and please share the information with your friends and please support my channel please subscribe me and have a nice day bye now